Her name may not sound familiar, but her imprint on Chicago spanned decades, and in that time, she helped literally thousands of people in the city. Tonight, family and friends are mourning the loss of Josephine Menno. Sean Lewis looks back at her life. She was very much her own person uh, all her life. Josephine Minow's life was a life well lived and shaped by her hometown of Chicago. My mom was the biggest booster uh, Chicago ever had. I used to call her the Chicago Tourism Board. Her daughters Nell and Martha recalling their childhood, one spent with parents who gave much of themselves. Their father, Newton Minow, the former chair of the Federal Communications Commission during the Kennedy administration, went on to a very successful law career in Chicago. In 2016, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, his beloved Joe by his side, as always. They were married 72 years. It was a true love affair. Yeah. Uh, to the throughout their lives, they would look at each other with these ador adoring looks. And if one was enjoying something, uh, the other would point and say, "Look, look." Yeah. Uh, isn't that Has wonderful? Hashtag couple goals. They are they are the the lovebirds of all time. They made uh -huh. each other better, and frankly, they made everybody that they met better. And one could make that argument for their city as well. Joe sat on the boards of many nonprofits aimed at giving back. She loved the city. She loved the spirit. She loved the openness, the open heartedness, and the unpretentiousness and the variety. And she gave her heart to the city and her time and her efforts. Many of those efforts were in advocacy, lending her voice, her position to help others on subjects ranging from LGBTQ rights to race. As a child growing up in the Depression and World War II, she had a finely honed sense of injustice. When she went to college, she fought with a group called the Quibblers to open up the dorms at Northwestern, which at that time did not allow uh, non-whites to be in the dorms. She took that same campaign with a group of people challenging the practices of a department stores in Chicago. They wouldn't hire people of color. Uh, and uh, one of the managers said, uh, we'll outlast you. And she, she just laughed. And when he was gone and the rules changed, you know, that was her vindication. The Minnow's connection to the Obamas going back decades, even seeing the future president and first lady on their first date, chronicled in the movie Southside with You. Newton Minnow was a partner at Sidley Austin. They were both uh, working at the time at the law firm. The pr uh, president to be was a summer uh, intern and his mentor was Michelle and they were a little embarrassed to be seen out on their first date, but Mom and Dad said, oh, have a great time. That's right. And they took them to Ravinia once a year ever after. Joe Minow died on Friday at her home in Chicago at 95, leaving behind a family and a city grateful. How can we be anything other than grateful for an extraordinary person with uh, stories and wisdom and wit that we can only try to emulate? Sean Lewis, WGN News.